Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to drawing. Sorry, I'm trying to get my camera right. It's a little bit wonky today. Can't figure it out today, guys. Okay, that'll do. No, it won't. Whatever. All right. Uh, let's get this pinned and going. Give time for people to arrive. Welcome to October. Yay! Oh, this goes so slow. Hi, Mom. Uh, let me, okay. Wow, the comments look different now than they did even on my phone. So they've obviously made some changes. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, so good morning. Uh, welcome to October, my favorite month. Because it's Halloween month. Um, today we are going to be doing um, a fall doodle page. I, um, let's see, what all did I want to talk about today? Thank you to everyone who has signed up for the Patreon. I really appreciate it. I think I'm at over $150 now. So awesome. Um, pretty rad. That's pretty rad. So I really appreciate that. Um, those perks will begin next week. So next week will be the first one. Um, it's really all I have to say about that. You can sign up at any time. So if anybody's like, eh, now is not the time for me. And you decide later in the month or you decide next month, it's there until I decide I'm not doing it anymore. It's there. So just know that. Um, another fun thing for those that didn't see the post, um, I am participating as much as I can in two different drawing um, activities for October. There is Inktober and there is Drawloween. Um, I have created an album in the group. We did have someone else besides myself who participated yesterday. It was really fun. Um, the If you look under the photos, I posted about it. I think I also put it under the drawing announcements topic. So as an example, for Inktober yesterday, the prompt was fish. You could do anything fish related. You do not have to do it Halloween-ish at all. I am just because that's my jam. But um, so, you know, I did this. And then for Drawloween, it was, Drawloweens are more Halloween centered and they're usually kind of punny. So it was seasoning of the witch instead of season of the witch. So I drew seasoning of the witch, which that's backwards for you. But um, I got myself a little notebook just for these drawings. And, you know, if I can't do it, I'm not gonna sweat it, but um, I'm not gonna like, stress out but it's just another little fun activity that you could be doing um and coming up with some ideas on your own um another quickie yesterday i bought a new pen sharpie just released this new s gel pen um i got the medium tip i really like it so i bought a like color like a black, red, and blue pen. Um, I'm gonna go back and get more black and I'm gonna try the thick point too. Um, I really like it. And I feel like it has the potential to possibly be as good as the Micron. So um, they sell it at Target. And because it's new, a lot of the packs are like buy four and you get a free pen. Like there's a free pen in the pack. So I like talking about supplies, Sharpie, S-Gel look for it at Target um, or my mom is saying on Amazon everything is on Amazon um, yes I've tried the medium I'm going to buy the thick tip 
next and try those out. But I did use them for my Inktober and my Drawloween. That was what I tested them with. So um, let's get started on drawing, shall we? That's all the announcements I have. We do have a sip and draw tomorrow. It will be um, October themed as well. I will announce that today. I know I haven't made a decision yet on what that topic is. It's been a busy week for me, you guys. Okay, let's flip this around. All kinds of like things in my head that I've had to like get out, get going, get working on. So um, for fall, there are lots of different options. We're just going to start drawing a couple different things on here. I'm going to start with a little kind of shorter line that's going to become a dome. It's going to curve. Curve. So you have this little tiny dome. On the top, I'm going to just draw a little rectangle, a little skinny rectangle. And then inside this dome, I'm going to do um, a grid. So I'm going to do at an angle lines going this way. And then add an angle, which is sometimes easier to do by like turning your paper and do lines going the other way. And I'm trying to keep them about, you know, about even. They don't have to be perfect. And then below this, I'm going to do that acorn shape. So it's, go it's going to kind of come down and then curve in to a point that lines up in the center of your acorn. And then it'll come back out and come up to the top over here. And then I'm just going to do little shapes of light inside, little reflections is what they end up being. So just two little rectangle, one little square, one little rectangle shape off to the side. So what I would do here is when I colored this in, I would color this part in, you know, your kind of acorn color, maybe a light brown or a yellowish brown. And then I would leave those little spots white for the reflection. Now, off of this, we're going to do kind of something <coughs> a little fun. We're going to make letters with dash marks. So if you are younger and you are learning to write your letters, then go ahead in a pencil, all right, and write your letters on the page. So this kind of looks better in cursive, but you can do it in printing too. It's one of those things I wish they taught cursive still. So I'm going to do a cursive letter F. And then a letter A. An L. and an L. You can definitely do this in printing. You would just make your A, make your two L's, and then you'll see what we would do when we finish this. And you could have, you know, just your capital F. So what I'm going to do here um, is I am going to do little dash lines. And I'm just going to follow the shape of those letters that I made on the page, keeping those dashes about the same length. So there's my F. 
I'm gonna, I didn't do a line here, but I'm going to go ahead and dash over to my A. And then into my L. And we're gonna add a little something on the end of this. So I'm gonna keep coming out. I'm gonna make a little loop. And then I'm going to make a longer line, okay? On the end of this longer line, I am going to put a leaf. I can do my little leaf lines inside. And then once you erase the letter you made in the background, and again, you don't have to do that in pencil. You could have done that straight in pen. I more did that to kind of help the youngsters out who might be learning their letters. You end up with this cool version of fall as if this leaf was blowing in the fall breeze and got carried over here. All right, next up, I'm gonna do a long, skinny rectangle. And then above that rectangle, I'm gonna do a shorter rectangle. And then a little bit in from the corners of this rectangle, you're gonna do a line that angles in. We're gonna do a line that goes across. It just comes a little tiny bit out of those lines, just like a smidge past. And then that line is going to somewhat angle down and connect. And then below here, you're going to continue as if this line continued through, you're gonna finish off your hot And now maybe this is your pumpkin spice latte. So maybe you want to write that on there. Maybe you want to put your name. Maybe you love Starbucks and you want to draw the Starbucks logo. Um, you could do lots of things on here. In fact, you could even just do a little bean shape is what I'm going to start with. I'm going to put a little triangle in the center, a little curly Q line, and then connect it in the back. And then I'll put those lines on the inside. So I've now made that a pumpkin on my little hot cup. And this really would be a cute place for today to write our name on our art. Now let's do another larger leaf. I'm just gonna do kind of a curved line here off to the side. I'm gonna start a little bit up from the bottom 
And this is just going to be in, out, in, out, in, out. No, doesn't have to match. Leafs aren't perfectly matched, but you're just going to do that kind of wavy leaf shape. I don't think I have that on camera well. And then inside you can do your leaf lines that give it texture. Maybe some of them line up, some of them are a little bit off. And then you can also do like little lines off of those. And then when you colored this, you could make it that really pretty kind of red to orange to yellow coloring. Now, one of my favorite things when the weather cools down, we're going to draw that next. I'm going to do a little cloud shape. And then from each side of this cloud shape, I'm going to do a line that curves down, finishing up in about the same space. And then I'm gonna do a line that connects these, but I'm gonna start it just a little bit above where this line ends, bring it out, curve it around. Do the same on the other side, giving that little bit of dimension in those corners. And then bring it down, around, and back up. And we've made ourselves a little beanie. I'm going to put some little lines in this lower portion as if to kind of give it that kind of knit look that a beanie might have. You could even do some little lines going one direction inside and then maybe in the others they go the other direction. And you can make your beanie polka dots. You could add some of this same knit pattern up into your hat if you like, um, or you can just leave it kind of on that smooth side. Or you could do like lines, like have one here, maybe one here, just to give a little bit of that knit pattern. Maybe over here off to the side, we can do a little line and a long, skinny hot dog shape. And then off of the end of this, do two lines, one going out each direction. And then you're gonna fill the in-between with more of those lines. We're making a rake. And then you want to do a curve line here and a curve line here. I might need to make these just a little bit longer. Gonna add a little bit of length to my to my rake. Let's do a hot dog tip.
Ooh, a peppermint mocha. I just saw that. I'm really kind of missing coffee right now. Off to the side of this hot dog tip, I'm gonna do two little curves, little arms. And then I'm gonna come down into a little curved end shape for my little ghost. I'll do a circle and color that in black for the mouth. And then I'm just gonna do two little curved eyes. Like he's saying, oh. Up here, I'm gonna do another curve shape. And then I'm going to curve the other direction, repeat that shape. I'll put two curved lines here on this end, two curved lines here, on this end. Does everybody know what we're drawing right there? And then in the middle, a line, and then you can do little X's down the center. For our football, will you like it or not? Fall is definitely football season, all of the football games start. Up here, let's do another little cloud shape, only this one will really be a cloud. We're just doing a bunch of those big bump lines till we meet back up with our original. And you can show some movement in your cloud by just putting little lines off to the side. And then we're going to put our raindrops. Boy, do we need some fall rain right now. Sure would be nice. Maybe since we have a rain cloud right here, over here we'll do an umbrella. So let's do that curved line. We'll put a little point on the top. And then you just do those like you're doing waves or like you're making a cloud. It's that same shape. You can draw lines up towards the top from all of your little points that you made. And then we'll give it a handle. I'm gonna have a handle that comes straight down and then I'm gonna just add a little letter J. For the portion of the handle that you would hold.
down here. Let me see, how am I gonna do this? I think I'll just do a standard pyramid. So let's just do a triangle. And then coming from the back of the outside, you're going to do a curved line that goes all the way around. And then inside of this, we can give it that little band for our little witch's hat. So we kind of have like some of those things that are like Halloween, some of the things that are fall, just kind of things that fit into that October season, right? Once October comes. Let's do, I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna draw a line, two lines coming down. about the same length. I'm gonna connect them down here at the bottom with just a slightly curved line. And then in here, I'm gonna connect this with a curved line as well. And I'm gonna have this curved line come up on the top, so I'm giving it dimension And I'm gonna do the same thing inside. So I'm gonna do this slightly curved line. Curve it at the top too. And then I'll put a little rectangle here in the center, a little black line. I'll put one right here, put one right here, and then a little water drop shape on the top. And then you've made yourself a little candle. This is a good time of year for the candles. And if you wanna be, you know, cutesy, you could also give your candle eyes give him a little face I'm gonna have him looking this direction and a smile our nice little fall candle I know everybody has their favorite candle scents this time of year I really like doing like a um Oh, anything that kind of smells like a baked good. I'm really on board for those. Any sort of baked good candles. You could add some um, apples to your page. So just do little, these little kind of little triangle kind of shape. And then doing that modified heart shape, I'd almost call it. It kind of has that heart look to it, right? It just doesn't have the point at the bottom. And we'll put a little leaf here. Put the back of the apple kind of showing. I'll do one of those little reflection boxes, little rectangle inside. A lot of people go apple picking in the fall, I know here we all have kind of Apple Hill that we'll go visit. Let's do a triangle shape right here, a V going off to the side. This lower portion, I'm gonna bring a line down, bring it across, 
and connect it here. And then right here, I'm going to just slightly curve this line. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give this a pie crust. This is my pie. So down here at the bottom, I'm gonna do a tiny line that comes down. It's going to follow along the entire bottom, but I need to do that back crust. So it's going to also come up. And then once you get to this curved portion, it's going to come out slightly and then wave all the way over. and you have your little piece of pie. You can even put yourself a little dollop of whipped cream on top by doing these kind of little curved edge, little curved shapes, and then give it a little point. Now you have your whipped cream. And just like your candle, if you wanted to, you could give your pie a little face. In this little space, let's do a, um, a little mushroom. We see a lot of mushrooms in the fall. So I'm just gonna do a line and then a curve on top of that. I'm gonna have it start kind of narrow and then come out wider. and then connect. And then what I'll do in the back is I'll do two more lines that come down here to the base, and then I'll put stripes in those. You know how those undersides of the mushrooms sometimes have that little texture? And then we can just put little spots. Maybe your mushroom has little dots on it. Just like so. I'm not gonna put them on the whole thing, just a couple little mushrooms in there. How about up here by our hat? Let's do a slightly curved line. We can bring this down on this side, curve it around. Don't wanna to touch my acorn. I cut that pretty close. Do a little toe. Come into a little heel. So I'm gonna put a V right there. From the back, it's gonna curve in and then it'll come back out. I'm gonna give myself a little rain boot. I really put that way too close to my um, acorn. I'll do two little laces up here by just doing kind of little loop shapes, loops with legs. the sole to my boot. And then you can color this however you want. Maybe you wanna pattern your boot, make it kind of plaid. Maybe you wanna do yours um, polka dots. Maybe uh, I'm an, I would probably do mine like that yellow that uh, I really love a good yellow rain boot. And you could definitely write things in here, like maybe you're gonna write touchdown by your football or autumn or um, blustery words that tend to be um, seen at fall time. Um, 
what else can we draw? Let me think, let me think. How about, we did kind of a coffee here, although this could be something else, but let's do a little tea bag. People often drink tea in the fall. So I'm gonna do a little curved edge square that gets wider at the bottom. like so. So it's narrower at the top, a little wider at the bottom. I'm going to put a little tiny oval up here towards the top. I'm going to give it a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to come off of the top of this side and come out a little bit and then curve it down to the bottom, just kind of gives it some dimension. And you can have it kind of full of tea, so maybe you do a little wavy line, and then this way you'll do the little wavy line angling up. And I would just fill this with all kinds of little textures, little dots, little dashes, just dropping my pen all over in that space. And then you can do the little T twine, T string. And I'm making that line doubled, but sometimes it's touching and sometimes it has a space and that's, that's fine. You don't have to have it one thing or it doesn't have to be perfectly because that it kind of makes it look more wavy that way. And then I'm going to put a little tag on the end, a little squared curved edge square. And then I'm going to put a heart on my tag. So if your fun little tea bag. Let's do another different type of leaf up here. So for this leaf, what I'm going to do is I am going to do a line, another kind of curved line. I'm going to put a leaf right at the end of it, just that teardrop shape. And then I'm going to put those teardrop shapes all down the side of this leaf. So this little leaf is made up of lots of different leaves. And then I do the same on the other side, kind of lining them up. And you can do some of that little texture inside, little leaf lines. I'm starting to run out of space here. I'm trying to just give one more thing. Let me... How about, we did an apple, but let's do one more little apple. So this one, I'm gonna do that same shape, that kind of, I'm doing a little dip in the center. That dip became very big. But now down here, I'm gonna kind of come out and make it a little wavy and back in. And then in the center, let's do a stick. You can do the back side of the apple. I want that stick wider, so I'm just going to color that in black. I want it to look more like a popsicle stick, kind of a thick, wide popsicle stick. 
And then down here on the side, you can just do this like drippy, wavy line. And then when you color that, let's give it a little color. We'll give one little piece of color on here. I'm gonna do a green apple. You color this top portion, the green. Of course I pick the green that's breaking. <laughs> Uh-oh, Linda's out of room. Yeah, we fit a lot of little things on this drawing. And you could add more. I mean, you could do another pumpkin. You could do lots of different leaves. There's so much little things you could add in here for fall. Maybe you do more animals, like a fox um, would be cute. And then I'm going to come in with this reddish brown. And then I've made myself a little caramel apple, which is one of my favorite things to get. And you could cover your car caramel apple, you know, maybe yours has little chocolate chips or maybe it has sprinkles or something like that on it. But I think we're pretty good there. I'm kind of running out of space. Um, you could definitely do more of a coffee cup or like a little teacup, um, maybe um, a fire, maybe sunflowers, maybe a bucket of apples. Uh, maybe some squirrels. So you can run with it and fill the page more. Or we together did a pretty good job about filling our page. And so that is our doodle page for Friday. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for a sip and draw. I will announce this evening what we're drawing tomorrow. Um, that's all I have, folks. You guys can upload your pictures to the group so I can see what you put on your doodle page. Um, you can load them into an album or just directly onto the page. And then don't forget, if you're looking for other opportunities to draw, um, join me with the Inktober or the Drawloween. I am not teaching those drawings, but it's a fun way for you to use your creativity to come up with some ideas. And then we can share our artwork together and enjoy it. So thank you very much. I hope you guys have an excellent Friday. I will see you on Saturday. I will see my new Patreon members on Monday. And happy drawing. Bye, guys.